Hey friends, these carrots chapatis or paradas for my Indian fans, they're just so good and easy to make at home. They are delicious and you can make them on any day of the week. I'm sharing this quick recipe and I hope that you can try it in your own kitchen. For this recipe, I have carrot, all-purpose flour, some olive oil, sugar, salt. I've thoroughly washed these carrots in water and scrubbed them. All I need to do is just to cut them into some nice chunks and we are going to steam them. Now put the carrots into this pot lined with a steamer. Add some water. Cover, cook until the carrots are softened. After the carrots were cooked to very soft, I blended them to a very fine puree. Spread them on a small sheet pan and then put them in the freezer just to cool down. Now into this bowl measure flour. I'm using all purpose. I'll use about four of these containers. which is about 1.25 pounds or 807 grams. Save this, use as needed. Now this flour goes into this bowl. Add a teaspoon kosher salt, half a teaspoon sugar, Get a dough hook ready. Now the carrot puree is all cooled down. Ready to use. Easy to work with. I have about 13 ounce of carrot puree, which is about 368 grams. Now this puree gets mixed with the flour. Now attach the dough hook and we are going to start this without adding any liquid. So start incorporating this. We will add the water as needed. So one thing I did is to reserve the cooking liquid that I used to cook the carrots in. This is all filled with the carrot flavors. So once you are sure you need some liquid, you wanna add gradually. Add half of the oil. Turn off the machine, let this rest for about 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes resting this dough. Now let's check this dough. The idea was to let the flour and the carrots just absorb all the water, all the moisture. Now this dough is all good. Now get a sheet pan and sprinkle some flour on it. Then get this dough onto the sheet pan. Just bring it together. At this point you don't need to add any more flour. This looks good. So 
and I'll just cut this into two pieces just so it's easy to work with and this form into balls get some plastic wrap let it rest for another 10 minutes it's always very key to keep on resting the dough after every need Now this dough is all rested, sprinkle some flour onto this mat, get one of these balls, just press it, spread it. You see the dough after resting is all very 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 smooth, so now just sprinkle. I'm looking to make a rectangle, just about probably about 18 inches by 12 or something closer to that and then cut into chapatis. That's my technique. You can cut it into individual pieces and then just go from there. But I find this to be a little bit easier. This is a stage that you can make this as thin as you can. Now I'll drizzle this with some oil. Just using my hands, just spread this oil. This is about a tablespoon also. This is a step that you can skip if you want to cut on the amount of oil that you're using. But this is what creates the layers. Some flour. Cut this in half and get this start rolling inward and cut continue rolling cut roll Continue rolling until the whole sheet is done and then I'll do the other one. Now this roll into a round and cut any excess dough and then you end up with this for a chapati or parada and then continue rolling all this. This is when you decide the size of your chapatis. I've done this so many times. I just feel it. So everything goes onto this sheet pan and then give them some more time just to rest a little bit. So one, two, three, four about 13 chapatis, actually a baker's dozen. And I'll start preheating the pan to start cooking them. Now start rolling this into actual chapatis into the reserved flour. And carefully, slowly just start pressing, looking to make about just a 9 to 10 inch round here. You can always add some flour as needed. Try to make it as round as you can if possible. If you can't, it doesn't really matter. So you get about 9 inches. Put it aside, we'll do another one. So into the reserved flour and onto the mat. Remember the dough kneading. It's actually something that you can do with your hands. You don't necessarily have to have a mixer, but if you have it, it makes the work easier and in my opinion makes a better dough. 
but if you don't have a mixer just knead it by hand it takes a little bit longer that's our second chapati I'll continue rolling I'll roll about five of half of the dough and then we'll start cooking and there you have it our first six chapatis all rolled up this pan I'll use to make the chapatis on is coming to temp I have a spatula for turning the chapatis a plate with a parchment paper and a kitchen towel oil for cooking the chapatis and I have some paper towels here that I'll use to wipe the pan as I go. Just attach oil on this pan and give it a wipe. I'll bring one of these chapatis and onto the pan. These chapati bubbles Lift it up, add some oils at the bottom of the pan, chapati bag, give it like a few turns, press it gently just to encourage the puffing at the edges. Give it time just to cook on that side. In the meanwhile, I'll continue rolling the rest of the chapatis. Pick. If you are satisfied with the color, just attach more oil, cook it for a few seconds, for about half a minute or so on that side, these are thin enough, they don't need so much time on the griddle or the pan. Remove this chapati onto the plate. Give the pan a wipe. One more chapati. Now the last of the chapati goes on, once it bubbles just like the other ones, some of the oil here, you can see all the bubbling here, after about a minute or so and you are satisfied with the color, let's give it a peek, that is good, give it a turn, some oil, and let it finish on the other side about 30 seconds to a minute depending on how thick the chapati is. This is done. So there you have it, our easy carrots chapati or parada. Look at all these, very delicious, very soft. Mm, can't wait, just try this. Look at all those layers. They are really so good. So I hope it's a recipe you can try in your own kitchen. Thank you so much for watching this one. Can't wait to see you in my next one. Have a good one. Give me a thumbs up.